I need to talk to you all about the significance of the way you carry yourself. This is going to make or break the way that people perceive you instantly the second they look at you. Because I've been doing some research, okay, and you know, I did not find anything groundbreaking when I did the research, by the way. I was, you know, just trying to figure out the overall, you know, average answer to the question, what do people look at you? Um, I'm sorry, what is the first thing people notice about you when they look at you? And that is your smile. Not true though. It isn't true because you may not be smiling. So, you know, that doesn't make any sense to have that be literally the average answer on Google. People are still going to notice you even if you're frowning. Another one is your eyes. They notice your eyes. Yeah, okay, but you don't always see people's eyes. You see them before you look at their eyes, perhaps. You see the back of them. One thing truly that is a 100% one and done reality of the first thing people notice about you is the way that you are carrying yourself. So the body that you are in, right? The vessel that moves you about, the soul that is trapped within, the body and the posture of the body is actually going to indicate a lot of things psychologically, whether you are an aggressor, okay? Hopefully not, unless need be. There are times and places. No, I'm just joking. It will indicate if you are more of a submissive type. It will indicate whether you are relaxed or lazy. It will indicate whether you are tense or just generally unwell. The unfortunate truth about your posture, but also fortunate as you will come to find, you can certainly control it. And that is that it honestly cannot always indicate the true reality of your demeanor, who you are. And that is something that is unfortunate if you are, let's say a tech billionaire and you show up, you know, we're not going to be talking about clothes here even though I'm tempted to, but you show up to work, whether you work, you know, on your laptop, okay? And you're answering a million emails and you go to a coffee shop, let's say. You may be super wealthy, not lazy, but you sit in your seat like this and you type. Does this make you feel like you want to take advice from me? No. This looks like I've been smoking the ganja for hours. And truth be told, I see people of all walks of life sitting that way, but not only that, standing, walking. You walk without a purpose and that is actually a problem because I know that a lot of us, especially the single people out there, are wanting to attract a high value partner and I do not mean money, monetary, although sometimes that may be the case, I'm not judging you, but you want to attract a decent partner and you don't realize that even if you are dressing extremely nice, thought out, I'm sorry, well thought out outfit, whether you're a man or a woman, your hair's done, everything's in place, you look respectable, you could run into just somebody significant and you wouldn't be ashamed of your appearance. That is excellent, first step, right? But you can actually do the more important step prior to splurging on fine garments and that is to correct your posture, the way you carry yourself and the way you walk. Because even if you are dressed up, like I had just mentioned, if you are not carrying yourself with grace, with, um, I say credence, but I perhaps could simplify it by saying confidence, your belief in yourself, your conviction in yourself as a man or a woman, it is quite important. There is one thing that has actually turned me off in the past to potential uh, people, even to have close relationships with just in, in a friendship or beyond that. And that is the way they carried themselves. The first thing that has ever attracted me to any man truly that I've ever seen in real life is the way that they carry themselves. And, you know, for me, it's probably not going to be someone who Yes, carries himself extremely well, but is dressed like trash on purpose, not in a practical setting where that must be the way you have to dress, such as if you have a tradesman job or if you, whatever, going to the beach, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm talking about in a respectable environment. If you're not, see, I can't not talk about clothing. I can't not talk about style. What am I going to do with myself? I should start a YouTube channel. Anyway, so 
the point is, yes, I'm not going to personally be attracted to somebody who doesn't dress with how what I perceive to be digni dignity. However, historically, I have found men, even in the blue jeans and white shirt combination, even Converse, dare I say, um, that's actually the better of the shoes when it comes to sneakers, honestly, that people wear all the time in public. Um, yeah, so that man who carries himself while he walks, when he stands with bold posture, owning his body, really, and not cowering smallly, just like making himself small. Because one thing that I've noticed is some significant figures, whether they are celebrities, call them significant or not, you know what I mean, or iconic people in general, people who have money, and I see clips of them, whether it's, you know, on YouTube or whatever, movies, or behind the scenes traditionally, and they are just like, they look, they're walking like their arms have been injected with a numbing shot. Something about when people are just so, it's like their arms are inanimate objects, they're just, your bad posture is the one thing that is stopping you from women staring at you when you enter the room. I'm serious. That is just such an attractive thing when you get a good guest on going. No, I'm just joking. Not the uh, dramatics, but the masculine energy that he has because he's the man. And he walks like the man, even if he's not... Doesn't, I'm not talking about Gaston, I'm talking about you. It's not about having money, it's not about trying to pick up some, you know, low-life chick that wants to steal your Rolex in the middle of the night. What I'm talking about is women who are feminine, in touch with it. One thing that they're looking for is a strong man. It's so simple, it's biological. A leader type man. Even feminist women who claim that they don't like men like that, who are confident in themselves, at the end of the day they will find themselves not respecting the men that they have and that they choose that make themselves small. A lot of men, I find um, from my own opinion and perspective, make themselves smaller in order to not be intimidating, but you needn't worry about being intimidating. If people feel nervous, because your chest is out. Maybe they should uh, take a Xanax and calm down and their trauma is not your responsibility. And ruining your appearance and your energy just to try to make some people comfy, it's not worth it. It's not going to benefit your life at all. And having this presence, and even like I said, when you are not dressed well, still walking with that masculine confident swagger okay good posture shoulders out you're the man trust me not only is that going to help you with women and trust me it really really will but it's going to help you in business networking and people will say that's nonsense it's all about talking it's all about connections it's using your brain of course that is the the weight of networking but also, if you are this slimy little, like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be mean, but if you're this slimy little, like, small, like, if I do it, it's not gonna look right because I'm in this feminine outfit, but this little worm, even if they work with you, they're gonna be like, please go away. Please don't suck the life out of me. Now, ladies, for you, something that you need to really stop doing is your laziness, your lazy, loungy posture. A lot of people get upset and actually there's a clip specifically in Sex and the City where Carrie's venting about Mr. Big, the guy that she's been chasing for many years. She says that she's tired of trying to like always act perfect around Mr. Big. She feels like she's always posing around him. This is the thing. I actually understand that and I use this intentionally as an example because I want to explain how it's not about being fake and posing. It's something that you train yourself to do, just like you learn to walk, just like you learned how to type, just like you learned how to use a blender and make a smoothie. It's one of those things where you can create a reality for yourself physically by your thoughts, of course, habits. So create a new habit and it won't be such a chore when you listen to people talk, when you move with grace and 
you know how to be engaging in a conversation simply from your body language, which goes along with the posture and the poise, because it's not just about the shoulders, it's not just about the straight back and looking stiff and rigid, it's about flow, it's about movement with grace and feminine energy, and men find it very, one, attractive, or two, intimidating just like women will find men who are strong and capable looking intimidating but the thing is like i was just saying with the men ladies if he is intimidated to talk to you because you are poised and you are elegant and classy that is actually perfect that's perfect now i know there are some shy nice guys out there that are worth giving a chance to but the thing is if he's immediately turned off by you because of that, because he feels like maybe he couldn't obtain such a rare creature. It's not true, it's just your body, but it does really have such a powerful effect that it shuts people up. And I don't know why exactly, you know, it's it could stem from insecurity, but I don't want to be one of those people that just always simplifies things down to, he's insecure or she's insecure, they're jealous, they're jealous of me. But there's something about a, di a distaste for beauty that this world has an, a never-ending blooming towards and I think that we do need to return to beauty. Beauty does startle people and I think that people will have a lot of judgments about you when you are poised, which makes you more beautiful. So if you're not the most conventionally attractive, beauty standards attractive man or female, do not worry because having your posture, your poise, and your body language in check, as well as the rest of your outfit, come on. I mean, you know it's me. That is going to improve and elevate your looks to just the maximum, honestly. I know that I did not teach you how to carry yourself specifically. I did not give you instructions, but at least I hope that I gave you an idea you can take it from there and you can take into consideration even when you think nobody is watching you they are there are cameras all over your house no i'm just joking i'm sorry i know it's like a million people's internal fear so i just thought it that was funny um but no in public obviously is what i mean but people are always watching you and the place to start your poise your posture being clever about it is in the home and that will grow your integrity and therefore you will fully be this developed poised person you are not just portraying one and to close this video one last thing i'll leave you with is the reason that your posture and your poise is going to be such a significant thing is because it will be a stark contrast from the rest of the sheep out there it's such a stark contrast that you will stand out and in this day and age where everybody can have a platform, they can have attention online through social media, it is sometimes hard to feel special, like you can stand out if everything feels so saturated. But don't worry, life is not a competition. However, nature is nature and it will put you in first place. Thank you for watching today. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for 10,000. I'm so happy that we're finally here. I truly appreciate you all and I will see you in the next video.